Once again, we're glad to be on the air and that you tuned in to Promise Christian Live today. <laughs> this weekly visit is intended to brighten your day, lift your spirit, and strengthen your resolve to press on, whatever your circumstances. To help you do that today, Dr. Mike McKinney, our host, has a guest who we trust would do just that. Mike, who is it? Well, thank you, Dudley. We're, again, we're so glad to be on the air once again with Promise Christian Life TV. And uh, we're glad to be in this new year of 2012. And we're honored uh, to be on this wonderful program on Channel 32 uh, for three years now. And we try and endeavor to bring exciting, interesting guests. And I believe we have one today in the, in the, uh, with our dear friend, Dr. Nicholas Benson, who happens to be the dean and the Academic Dean of Promise Christian University, Dr. Benson. It's a pleasure to have you with us, sir. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I'm very excited about <laughs> having you on the program yes, today. Sir. Yes, because, sir. Because, uh, first of all, you hold many titles and posts with the city and with the church and with the school. But we'd like to start uh, possibly today by just sharing to our people that we're so pleased and honored to have you as our Academic Dean at Promise Christian University. We'd like you to share a little bit about your thoughts and feelings about our school, and what's happening here in Pasadena. Well, uh, <clears throat> first of all, I'm really impressed to be here. Dr. McKinley, it's great working with you. And Thank you. Uh, we have been working together now for some time. Yes. And uh, I find you to be very exciting <laughs> and uh, uh, full of life. And uh, we have a wonderful school. Like you say, the Promise Christian University is a university of the 21st century. Well, I'm saying that uh, because of the way how we reach out to the students. It's one of the outstanding schools right here in the city of Pasadena. Yes. At, uh, right here in Elizabeth. It's a wonderful, wonderful campus that used to be a campus of the the Nazarene College many years ago. That's right, that's and, right. And uh, William Carey, at the William Carey International University there in that campus. Yes. It's an exciting thing. When you walk there, you just feel good, <laughs> feel the spirit yes. moving all over you. So I'm excited to be part of that, that movement, that school, and uh, to be able to make a contribution to our students. Well, you certainly are doing that, Dr. Benson. And you bring to the table, as we say, such a marvelous background in education and ministry. And uh, tell us a little bit about your, your background. We like to talk about the city, too, and your involvement there. But uh, tell us a little bit about your academic background, how you came here from South Africa and how God Zimbabwe. brought you here. It's a <coughs> miracle story. Well, it's really exciting. I came here in 1972. And then um, at that time, actually, I went to Switzerland first at the Billy Graham conference there. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Then when I was there, I met the professors from this country. At that time, I was working with the youth in South Africa and in Zimbabwe, Yes. which is a, a wonderful country. Zimbabwe is a wonderful country. And then... After I went to that conference, it was called the Luzon Conference on World Evangelism. Oh, yes. And I then uh, I started corresponding with the, 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 the professors here. And then I wanted to have more education. And somehow God miraculously opened an opportunity for me to come over to the, to the United States. And I went to Azusa Pacific University. Excellent. And uh, in that school, it was so beautiful. I met beautiful people, beautiful professors and students, Christian environment. I loved it. I enjoyed everything <laughs> about it. And then from there, Fuller Theological Seminary, wonderful seminary. 
and I tell you, it was so exciting. But at the same time, it was rough because uh, these professors were not that much. Uh, they, they, when you come into the class, they give you all these books. Oh, yes. And then uh, there was no time to enjoy life when I was there. But I enjoyed myself at the same time. Sure. So then from there <coughs> all the way to USC. So I'm excited that uh, after that, I finished up my, my education. I went back to t teach at Azusa Pacific Oh, yeah, after University. you completed your time at, That's at right. USC, Yes, too. and then wow. um, after a little while, after having worked there for some time, then um, <clears throat> I was called into a church, which is uh, the church that we have, which is called First Summit Evangelical Free Church. It's one of the great churches today in the and, city. You yeah, know. Then we are excited to be there. <laughs> and I'm enjoying myself uh, doing that. Many more things that have happened to my life, I never thought about it when I first came here. It's yes. just God is blessing. That's what I can tell you. Isn't that wonderful? Of course, your beautiful wife and children. No, and beautiful people. Just, just beautiful. great family. Everything. I have a wonderful family, and God yes. has been good to me. Oh. And really good to me. And uh, so I can't tell you. Blessing of the <laughs> blessings. <laughs> well, we're so impressed with your background, and yet with all the education and all your doctorates at the end of your name, <laughs> you're so humble, Dr. Dr. Benson. You know, you just... You're a man that, a real man of God, and that's what we like that promise. You know, when the Lord spoke to Adele and I many years ago to build a university, and he told us to call it Promise Christian University for students with promise. We were asking God to send the right professors and academic people mm. to assist us in, the, in this new university. And we prayed, and God, through the word that came to us, the Lord said he would send men and women to stand by our side, hold up our hands, mm. stand by our side so we wouldn't have to stand alone. And truly, he has done that. And you're one of those we know God has sent to promise. And Thank you. And we're just honored to have you there, you know. Wow. You bring a lot to the table, as we say. So um, the one story that is really exciting on that is that uh, to see how God works is how we met. Um, you had an advertisement about yes, the school. that's right. So I got that, and then I kind of uh, called. When I came there to the school, we just had uh, so much time. We just got, <laughs> just put us together. I know, we just clicked, <laughs> didn't we, Dr. Yes, ben? we clicked. Uh, yes, definitely we yeah. did. <laughs> definitely we clicked. Uh, but uh, it has been a great journey together, yeah. and uh, I have seen the school grow. Uh, it's amazing. Yes, it's amazing it what I'm seeing. I see the school growing and I see the school expanding yes. and um, all kind of things happening. And uh, I, I think God's hand is upon this university. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, Thank his, you. God's so, hand yes. is upon this university. I've seen many students graduate from there with their bachelor's, their master's, as well as their doctorates. Yes. That really makes me feel good about it. Yes. That uh, I'm part of a school that is making a difference yes. in our communities, not only in this United States of America, but we have even had some students from overseas. Oh, yes. Getting our doctor doctors <laughs> from our school. That's really exciting. It really is. Yes, you it know, is. It is, and we were so glad some very prominent uh, uh, people in ministry today uh, have received uh, doctor's degrees from honorary doctors from our university, and we're honored that they to have them. It's just marvelous to see. And as you know, Dr. Benson, we just recently returned from a five-nation tour uh, of evangelism and talking about promise. And we now, I'm glad to say, uh, we've opened up three offices and uh, satellite schools in the Philippines, in Hong Kong, and in Malaysia with an opportunity to be in many other countries. So we're just very excited about this. Really, that's the thing that is really amazing, yes. uh, Dr. McKinley, how the school is just growing it's so incredible. fast. And the doors are just opening all over the place for us. That's right. Now you have these extensions now overseas. Yes. Did you ever dream of something like this no, when not. you were, uh, when God <laughs> told you about this school? No, we really didn't, Dr. Benson. We were so overwhelmed with the fact that the Lord wanted us to build a school and how that's a mir miracle story in mm. itself that we'll, someday we'll have to write the story. But we didn't realize the expansion on the international scene mm. and the that's doors that are just miraculously 
opening wow. for promise. We we're just we stand absolutely amazed. That's it. Just amazed. That's amazing. It's God's so, it's God's favor. I know that. Yes, it is. Yes, it, it really is. is. Well, that is um, that is really what it is. It's God's favor. And uh, now um, I remember one of these days we were discussing in the school to say, well, we may have to look into adding more faculties because yes. we the school is, is so expanding all over yes. the place so that way that means that uh, really there is a challenge of having more faculty coming yes. into our school that and I'm true. sure you're working on that right oh, now. Oh yes we are in fact we've had uh, some inquiry from other uh, professors and other schools are very interested in promise and uh, somehow when they see our commercials or our ads in the paper, they, they get, they get, they're touched like you were touched. Mm. There's something mm. the Lord touches them. So we are looking into adding to the faculty at Promise and we're open for interviews and things like that, you know. Mm. And uh, we're very, very excited about the prospect because right now, uh, it's like it's, somebody told us, well, Promise is a school that's on the cutting edge, and, uh, and they like that. You know? I, I like that. I, I, I like yeah, that subject, the yes. cutting edge, because yes. uh, it sounds um, like that's what I'm saying when I say mm -hmm. it's a school of the, the, um, um, the 21st century. That's correct. Uh, exactly. Meaning that uh, it is in the cutting edge. Uh, I, I'm interested in that word, cutting edge, you, you, because of the fact that, uh, is that because of the way you are doing it, or is it, why, why do they use that word? I, th I think it's the way we're doing it, because we have, I, I think because we have a, a global, uh, now God's given us a global vision for the university. Mm. And mm. I know there are many wonderful colleges and schools out there that are doing a great work, but we ourselves at Promise, uh have a, this heart for the, a real heart for the nations. And one of the emphases that we place at Promise is the area of leadership, uh, not only in the ministry, but in the marketplace too. I think that's kind of a cutting edge. We're reaching people in the marketplace. And with our dear uh, friend, Dr. Mila Merketer, recently we were in, uh, in, in Malaysia and there was a business meeting held uh, with many, many business leaders and Christian leaders we had a chance to share not only about the school, but about the, how God is dealing in the marketplace. And so Promise is involved in that. And I think it's a little bit different That's than what some other schools are, are doing. And um, there is another component that um, makes our school unique, is that it is a Christian university. Yes, it is. Our emphasis the is the Lord. Is the emphasis is the Lord. Yes. And uh, I think that's what draws people to the school because uh, a lot of, I see a lot of pastors yes. that wants to get their higher degree in our school who That's are already involved into the Christian ministry. And that is really exciting. And they can continue to work while they are studying with us. That's right. In fact, I had a lady a few years ago. A lot of our students, as you know, Dr. Benson, are middle-aged, coming back to school. The kids are growing up now, and the mom and dad want to continue their education. And one lady around in her 40s, she asked me, she said, Dr. Mike, do you think I'm too old to come back to school? Mm. <laughs> I, mm. said, I said, absolutely not. Our oldest graduate's 85. Wow. So I said, there's, oh, 85. there's, no, there's mm. no excuse, you know. So she enrolled. And a lot of our students, as you mentioned, are men and women that have been in ministry and mm. other professions, teaching professions and others. But they, they want to get that next degree. And somehow God's led them to promise. And we're so delighted that, that he's done that. And of course, as you know, uh, one of the other things we'd like to do in the future is open a school of media. Mm. We have some people that are involved in media, even in Hollywood, that are very interested in a, in a Christian, they're, but they're Christian, and they're interested in coming to a Christian university, but studying and getting a degree in media. So we're working on that too. As you know. Not only that, I had um, one lady not long ago who has a studio. He was, she was asking me about that. Yes. that uh, uh, do you have anything in your school about uh, the media? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I have heard them talk about it, Maybe one of these days you need to get in touch with uh, oh, yes. the, 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 the administrator and, uh, and find out if you can have that. So that, that's the main thing, uh, Dr. McKenna, that's that really true. excites me about the school. But um, um, the other thing that I just wanted to mention to you is that what makes me excited about the university is that while I'm a pastor yes. in this community. Yes, that's right. Doing my ministry, 
I can be working in the school as well. Yes, you can. And that is exciting. Yeah, we're, and we're so thrilled. And you know, not only that, but some of our viewers may not know, Dr. Benson, that you are currently the president of the Evangelical Ministers Alliance of Greater Pasadena. And, and recently you were the, uh, the host for the annual Martin Luther King Day program, which was one of the best in all the years I've ever attended. We had Cong U.S. congressmen there, senators, the mayor. T tell us a little bit about well, that today. Well, that, um, that's very <coughs> exciting. That is, um, the Minister Alliance, the Interdenominational Minister Alliance of Greater Pasadena and the surrounding area is really an association of different churches yes. in these communities. Uh, we have almost 65 churches wow. that we work with and other churches that are not members but work with us. Oh yes. So w in this association, one of the things that we really feel is very vital is try to raise funds for the students. So we have the component, the ministry, what we call the Martin Luther King Scholarship Fund. Oh, that's excellent. Now, in this scholarship fund, we have this once a year. We call our annual Martin Luther King Scholarship Fund. We raise the funds. And then when we do this, we invite all the leaders in the surrounding area. Yes. And it's one of the biggest, biggest mm. event that we have every year. Now, this year, I think ever since I've been the president of the the IMA, the Interdenominational Minister Alliance, yes. this was one of the biggest. Wow, it was. It was so, the place was packed, there, and there was an excitement in the air, too. God's going to do something great. You yes, know? it was. It was wonderful to see. Now, did you hear uh, the speaker, what he said, how did the Interdenominational Minister Alliance came into existence? Did you hear that? I did, and would you share a little bit with our audience today, yes. a little bit of the history uh, that, of that? was a very exciting. I can't go into details right now, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, this country, the church has always been struggling because of division mm -hmm. among us. Yes. And, um, but um, we recognize that Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's why the existence of this organization is to try to bring the churches together, to work together, yes. and try to bring, close the gap, because it's very important for us, even for the world, yes, that's to right. know that we are working together in it, spite of different churches. So that's why the Minister Alliance is so powerful in these communities. It's marvelous. And it's all different groups now coming together. Oh, I, yes, I they saw are. that. You yes, know. they are coming together. Just, just wonderful. Look like the United Nations over there. It is. It's, 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 a, it's a legally United Nations. <laughs> <laughs> of God's people, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And you're doing so many great things in the city. And I think your scholarship program for the worthy students, it's just some of these young people have gone on to become very distinguished, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, it's uh, amazing. We have been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. We have been doing this for years, giving scholarship to the students. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really one of our outstanding, if you heard the lady that was interviewed. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, how she appreciated this, the money, oh, the scholarship that comes yes. from the Martin Luther Scholarship Fund to yeah. help the students. Yeah. Some of them have become lawyers and nurses oh. and teachers. It's, all it's, professionals. It's a, it, oh yes, professionals. Yeah. But this is what it's all about and it's exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, the other part of the Interdenominational Minister Alliance that is very important that people need to recognize. We are a proactive group in our communities. Yes. We get involved, not even helping in the neighborhoods in our own neighborhoods to be sure that we work with our civil leaders oh, yes. and in whatever they are doing because there's a lot of non-profit organizations that are trying to make some differences in our community. Oh, yes. So the IMA does help in those situations Absolutely. get involved and in I that. Absolutely, and I noticed they're, they're greatly involved in the city too with the officials, uh, the mayor and the chief of police and others. We saw uh, so many of the city officials there and they were so pleased with, with what's happening with the IMA. Yes. And that are doing such great work within the city. Have, have they always been involved like that in, in the city? Well, not yes, yes, in small scales. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think as the time goes on and recognizing the need for us to come together, more and more they are coming. Yes. For instance, I, I can't talk too much about it myself mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I'm in the front. 
Right. But uh, I think for the last four years, you have been coming around, haven't yes, you? Yes, sir, that's Have right. you seen anything a little different than what you're, you're yes, seeing? Yes, I have. You see more, more, more. More involvement more. and more excitement and greater, greater working together in a greater way yes. than ever before. That's right. That's it's, right. It's really wonderful to see that. It, that that's what it's all about. <laughs> we, we, we appreciate each person that is coming. Yes. No, did you realize that um, even some of the the leaders that are part of the IMA, they are the graduate of the of Promise Christian University. Yes, I noticed that. We're so honored. Uh, <coughs> uh, some of the leading pastors, in fact, the pastor that hosts the Martin Luther King Day event, uh, Dr. Skinner, is also one of our uh, recipients of a doctor's degree. And it's, you know, that's an honor for our school to have somebody, people like of that caliber, shall quite, we say. Quite a lot of them. You know, quite a, a, lot, a of lot of them. And uh, uh, including Bruce Porter, who is the pastor of Columbine. He's one of our. That's a big church, isn't it? Yes, and he's he's the the pastor Rachel Scott, you know, the young lady at the tragedy mm -hmm. that took place at Columbine. Well, the pastor Bruce is a uh, Porter is one of our honorees for the doctor's degree. Doctor Eddie Villanueva of the Philippines, who has one of the largest churches in the world, is also he got a doctorate from from us. our school and many others and local pastors like Doctor Skinner and others. And we're so thrilled to have these wonderful people that God has sent to promise. It's just incredible for our school. Don't forget, even Dr. Randall. He yeah, got Dr. Doc, Randall, Dr. Too. Ministry Dr. Randall, from our, from our, another great leader. Oh, yes, he and, is. And a great man, you yes, know. Yes. And we're so proud, proud of him. Wow. And to have him as one of our... Dr. Bledsoe. Dr. Bledsoe is another great leader in the community. <laughs> yes. And he's been on the show with us here, Dr. Bledsoe, Isn't sharing it? his testimony and uh, talking a little bit about the city and their involvement. And so we're so honored to have our university in the city of Pasadena and to be involved already with such wonderful leaders. Now, it's just great. Now, the question that I have, when you, God gave you this, um, this vision. Yes. Did, uh, how did you get, to, did you come straight to Pasadena or you started somewhere else? Well, we started in our area in, in Covina. We started uh, there in a very small scale. Uh, and then we had an opportunity uh, uh, that, that the campus opened up for us. So we decided to move to Pasadena because we know that Pasadena has a marvelous history as a, as, as a, as a college town. Mm -hmm. And emphasis, the emphasis has always been on education. We thought, you know, for Promise being a newer university, mm -hmm. this would be a great chance for us to be. In the, in the midst of all this marvelous uh, uh, schools, and so... God miraculously opened the door for us to be on the campus there at U.S. Center for World Missions, sharing the facility there with William Carey, who were great friends with them. And uh, we're working together, and I'm just thrilled to be on that campus. That's wonderful. That's <laughs> wonderful. Well, I'm so excited, uh, Dr. McKinley, to work with you. Thank you. And uh, I, I <clears throat> you don't know how much I'm, I'm humbled by the opportunity that God opened for me to work with you well, in this college. It's mutual. Because I realize that uh, is the college that uh, is needed in this 21st century. Yes. And uh, to train the leaders right. of the future. So I'm excited. Yes. Would you tell our viewing audience, perhaps there's pastors out there that are, are looking to continue education, just for a minute, would you share your, <clears throat> your heart with them about our school? Really, I, I want to say to anyone listening to this telecast today that if you ever dreamt of going to school to study at this particular time in your life, whether you are in the ministry or God is talking to you about going to, into the ministry, Promise Christian University is the school for you. Come to us. You will find faculty and uh, the staff that will welcome you in and we will help you in any way we can to make sure your dream comes true. Thank you, Dr. Benson. That's a great, great promo for us. I want to thank you for being on the program and, and we just uh, appreciate you being our dean and you're so involved with your church and in the community of Pasadena itself and uh, and, and, and the uh, president of the IMA, which is such a, a very distinguished organization of, of many, many churches, very, very prominent. And we're so delighted that God is using you so mightily 
and we're all working together. It's just absolutely great. So we want to thank you for being on the show today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We God. just appreciate so much, uh, Dr. Benson, and uh, being with us here today. As you can see, uh, as he mentioned so beautifully a moment ago, if you're looking for a good Christian university, uh, to check on Promise Christian University. And uh, Dudley is going to give you the, uh, the address and the, uh, uh, the website in a moment. And we just we want you to know that we're very glad to be here uh, on this channel, Channel 32 here at Arroyo Broadcasting. Uh, they've been so kind to our university with our, our telecast. And to be here in the city of Pasadena, surrounded by so many wonderful uh, wonderful schools, to wonderful colleges and universities, and our dream was to be here on this on this site. And God made a way by a miracle for Promise to be here on, at this place. So we appreciate you. And as Dr. Benson indicated, if there's any way we can help you, any way, anything we can do to encourage you to get that degree or get that next degree. Don't worry about the age or the years away from school. That doesn't matter. If God's speaking to your heart today. We believe Promise is for you, so we'd love for you to contact us. Uh, and we want to thank you again for viewing each week these programs. And we just, it's a joy for all of us here and our wonderful crew of men and women working to make this program mm -hmm. a success. And we appreciate each and every one of them. And Dudley, again, my heart is very touched at this today with Dr. Benson because he really spoke from his heart today concerning Promise. And we appreciate that so very much. And Mike, I gain very much from your guest today. Thank you for, for inviting Dr. Benson to be with us. And I hope that you did also, you who have viewed this program today. And let me ask you a question. Has God put a special calling on your life? Do you feel he's inviting you to get involved in some kind of Christian work? If so, perhaps Promise Christian University can help you in that effort. Give them a call, phone 1-888-723-6233. Email is another good way to get in contact with Promise Christian University. The email address is mypcu at aol.com. In the meantime, may God bless you beyond your fondest dreams.